Naming molecular compounds is different than naming and formula writing for ionic compounds. In an ionic compound, you're dealing with a structure where you're looking at formula units. You're looking at how many there are relative to one another. You're not looking at single molecules. Here we're looking at single molecules, and because of the way that the bonding occurs in here, we actually have multiple things possible. So if you remember from earlier in the year, we learned about multiple proportionalities. Uh, we can have one carbon atom for every two oxygen atoms, or we can have one carbon atom for every one. So there are different, different compounds that you can form between the same two elements when you're looking at molecular compounds and you're looking at two nonmetals forming a compound. So the naming for this needs to be different than that for ionic. And so what we've done is just a really simple name the elements. Uh, just like an ionic, you do change the second one to IDE. Uh, and you list these in order based on electronegativities. And the second one is going to change to IDE. In addition to that, you just indicate how many of each one there are using a set of prefixes. So CO2, you probably are already aware, is named carbon dioxide. And CO, you're probably also aware, is named carbon monoxide. And so because I have different proportionalities between carbon and oxygen, I need to indicate what this particular one is by using a prefix. The di here means that there are two oxygens for each one carbon, and the mono means that there is one oxygen for the carbon in that particular molecule. Okay. So for the prefixes, we just literally have a list of all the prefixes. Now, we would of course only look here for 1 through 10, because uh, you're not going to run into things probably much beyond 6 at all. And so mono is 1, di is 2, tri, tetra, penta, hexa, hepta, octa, nana, deca. And additionally, if the first element is only 1, you omit the mono because it's just very common. And so carbon monoxide, you wouldn't say mono carbon monoxide. Um, after that, it's really quite simple. It's just whatever the compound is, if you had S2O3, and for the naming, you would name the two elements sulfur and oxygen. You would change this to its IDE ending, sulfur oxide, and then you would put your prefixes in, disulfur trioxide. Okay, so if we go for P4O10, we have phosphorus, we have oxide, we would say tetraphosphorus. And then deck oxide. Okay, let's take a look at a couple more. If we had N205, that would be dinitrogen pentoxide. Like I've got a lot of oxygen going here. We should probably switch that up. Um, let's go ahead and go with a new one. And at three, that would be nitrogen trifluoride. When you're getting into molecular, you will at some point get into some organic molecules, probably. So you might see something like CH4 and think that that would be carbon tetrahydride. And it's not that it's incorrect, but we do have a separate system of naming for organic molecules that you would probably use, and that would be called methane, for example. Um, that's about it. Now, in reverse, it's really, really simple, because now you're looking at a case where when you're given a name, you just need to use the prefixes to figure out what the formula is. So sulfur hexafluoride is a really cool chemical that you can breathe in and makes your voice sound deeper. Uh, it's just going to be sulfur and fluorine, and there would be six fluorines for each sulfur. Okay, so the mono is omitted here, so you would just have one, and then that would be it. Uh, if we took a couple more, let's go ahead and do AS, oops, let's try that again. Arsenic trichloride it would just be ASCl3. Phosphorus, pentabromide. So the name there, phosphorus and bromine, we have P, we have Br, and then penta would be five bromines for each 
phosphorus in a particular molecule. So for molecular naming, it's really quite simple, especially going from name to formula. Um, not, as, not any tricks like there are for ionic, it's just really straightforward and simple.